Okay friends, so what we're gonna work on today is coloring in with cool colors. So what I've done is I've already pulled out the cool colors that I'm gonna use for this project. Now I want to make sure that, I, I said I made this a nighttime sky. You can make yours any time of day that you want, but I'm gonna use this darker blue because what I don't wanna do is forget that I made this a nighttime picture and use this blue for this part. We don't want the blue to be on this part yet. We don't want it there because it'll be too close to the same color. Okay, so I'm just gonna use that as an indicator so that I remember to do that later. So now what you do is you just finish coloring in the spaces using a variety of warm and cool colors. Now you don't have to use color patterns for this. You can color this in pretty much any way that you want to. You just use whatever coloring supplies that you have. If you have paints, you can play with paint. If you have markers, use your markers. If you've got colored pencils, chances are you have a lot of choices to choose from when you have colored pencils. Um, so go in and, you know, do your coloring, go slowly, do a nice job. Remember when you go multiple directions, it shows up. So you have to color the whole thing the same direction and then you can go back over it in a different direction. It's actually a coloring technique. So you see how I'm going in a different direction now? I'm going to continue coloring in that diagonal direction because as you color over it, it blends the opposite pencil lines away. Okay. For the most part, you don't notice them as, as much when you have multiple directions of lines. It helps it all kind of blend out. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish coloring this in, and then when we come back, um, we'll talk about how I colored this. part of the cool colors. We have one more step that we are going to do to it tomorrow and that is that. All right friends, have a great day.